Hi, I'm Mike Wise covering the Sochi Olympics. Uh, as a sports columnist, I thought I'd show you some of my most heartwarming moments here at the Games thus far. Yeah, everybody cries, even the, even the heart-bitten journalists. <laughs> Caitlin Lyles was in a hospital bed and she talked about watching Sean White and him motivating her um, while at the Vancouver Games and really helped her through her osteosarcoma. She's now in remission. Um, and she's in love with him. She says, I want to leave here, Mrs. Sean White. It was so cute. I thought, this is great. And then the mother, uh, Liz Hughes, uh, Ben Hughes, says to me, my son was uh, in the hospital for two and a half years off and on, underwent radiation, chemotherapy for leukemia. And they were both from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I asked the mom, when do you guys get to meet Sean? She said, nah, it's not part of the deal. Kind of got involved in the story. And I went to the press officer for the U.S. snowboard team, I go, I, I know you're busy, but see this kid behind me. He's a cancer survivor. Sean White, uh, this is his biggest fan right here. I mean, in, in an instant, it didn't take him a half second, Sean White made this decision to hurdle this four and a half foot barricade. It was, it was almost superhero-ish, and he ends up in the arms of this kid, and it was, it was one of the more touching moments I'd ever seen at the Olympics. I can't tell you how proud it is to just show up and be at a press event where the person on the days, it says wise. And you're right, there's a, there's a blood relation there. I mean, we came from the same great grandfather. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll be there Tuesday at the Half Pipe event. One of the weird things about the media uh, dorm, I call it, it's supposed to be a, a hotel, but it's a dorm and it feels like college. It's, you know, it's a little bit Spartan conditions. One of the great things about it is you're contained in this area and they literally bring culture to you. One of the misnomers um, in our culture about Russia is it's very cold, um, it's very unfriendly, but the Russian people are really warm. Uh, I've met some incredible, incredibly nice, good people, nice, warm, good people here. There is such love and admiration for the hockey team. And there's a great, great hockey video out right now. And it starts out, shy boo, shy boo. I can't tell you what going to a karaoke bar has been with Dave Shinen in the middle of the night. He's a classically trained opera singer. And so the, the Russians in this karaoke bar, literally after Dave gets done singing, they're almost kneeling and they're coming up to him and they're hugging him. Let's put it this way, Dave Shinen is more welcome right now in Russia than Edward Snowden.